a very good morning to my dear children just like lesson 11 had three parts they are recruitment selection and training similarly lesson 12 has three parts industrial relation trade union and social security today in our online class we shall be doing industrial relation and trade union in an industry there are three sections of society first workers that means the employees second the employers which means the management of the company and third the government therefore to ensure harmony and cooperation in an industry it is important that these three sections which are employer employee and the government work in consistent with each other this defines industrial relation industrial relation mean the relationship between employers and employees in industrial organization plus it also includes relationship between the various union between the state and the union as well as those between the employer and the government in simple language industrial relation means it involves the study of how people get on together at their work what difficulties arise between them how relations among them are regulated and what organizations are set up to protect different interest therefore the basic objective of industrial relation are first to develop and maintain harmonious relations between management and labor harmonious relation between management and labor is essential for higher productivity of labor and industrial progress in the country second objective of industrial relation is to safeguard the interest of labor as well as management and interest of both the parties can be achieved by securing highest level of mutual understanding between all sections of the industry third objective is to establish and maintain industrial democracy industrial democracy can be achieved by allowing labor participation in the management so that personality of each individual is fully recognized and developed fourth objective is to avoid all forms of industrial conflict so that industry can work in peace and provide better working and living standards to its workers fifth to raise productivity in an era of full employment this can be achieved by reducing the tendency of higher labor turnover and absenteeism sixth objective of industrial relation is to bring about government control over such industrial units which are running at losses last objective of industrial relation is to ensure a healthy and balanced social order this can be achieved through recognition of human rights in industry to achieve harmonious and cooperation in industry trade union play a very important role initially workers were exploited by the management because they had limited legal protection or rights for them therefore a trade union came up a trade union is basically an organized expression of the needs aspirations and attitudes of the working class therefore trade union is an association which means combination of employees where employees voluntarily join voluntarily means they join at their free will there are no restrictions imposed on their entry and exit trade union is permanent if trade union is not permanent it will be difficult for a trade union to achieve its objective trade union is basically community of interest people who have 
same or similar interest and problems they join in so that they can motivate them to unite trade union is basically a collective action and lastly trade union is a subsystem it is a subsystem of social system like economic social legal political conditions of a country why are trade unions formed or what are the objectives of trade union the first objective of trade union is to secure for the workers fair wages so that cost of living and standard of living can be maintained trade union also ensure improve working conditions this can be done by having shorter working hours and better housing and education facilities for the employees and his family third objective is to assure workers a share in the increased profitability of industry which is given to them in the form of bonus fourth objective is to ensure security of employment fifth to protect workers against exploitation and victimization sixth to secure workers a say in management that is allowing them to participate in the activities of management which brings about a new social order last objective of trade union is to protect larger interest of society by helping in the improvement of trade and industry thank you